really exciting day ahead today, so I thought I would bring you along with me. Um, I'm going to the Quill London Calligraphy class, which I'm so excited about because I emailed them ages ago to ask them to come to Cambridge because they said they were going to be doing tours, and I couldn't believe it when they actually said that they were going to come to Cambridge, so I think this is so exciting. I didn't think it would actually happen, and when they asked for some recommendations of places that they could have the event, I decided that I would send over a list of some of my favourite venues in Cambridge, and they picked Novi, which is a brand new venue um, right in the centre of town so I'm so excited about that. It's a bit chilly outside so I decided to wrap up warm in this new Primark jumper that I got. It's a long jumper and I'm going to do a haul video from all the things that I bought from Primark recently. So let's get on with the day and I will take you along with me and I really really hope that you enjoy watching this video. Thanks so much. <laughs> London class at Novi in Cambridge and I had such a good time. I'm so glad that I went. Although I mentioned it earlier, I thought I would give you a little insight into why Cool London came to Cambridge today. Actually, I harassed them pretty much. I had seen that loads of my blogger friends had been to the Quill London classes in London, but then I saw that they wanted to do some touring dates and they decided that Cambridge would be the perfect place to go because I had told them that Cambridge just needed something like that. Cambridge is great for so many things, but unfortunately we don't have anything like calligraphy classes or anything that you can just spend a few hours doing with friends or people you don't even know. And it was a really great afternoon. I'm so glad we did it. When the ladies at Cool London told me that they wanted to come to Cambridge, they asked if I knew of any potential venues. So I gave them a whole list of some of my favourite venues and Novi was one that definitely stood out. As it has just been renovated, it's a perfect space for something like this and it fit everyone in beautifully. It was not too small, it was easy for demonstrations and it was nice enough so that you could really get your elbows out and write properly because, to be honest, none of us had a clue what we were doing. I've been wanting to do calligraphy classes for a really long time because I'm completely obsessed with typography. Um, whenever I'm making anything on the computer, I absolutely love to try out different fonts and just see what happens. And I thought it would be really nice for me to actually learn how to do some really nice swirly writing myself and then get that onto the computer so I can do some digital editing with it as well. As soon as the ladies at Quill London told me they were coming to Cambridge, I knew full well that I wanted to book myself on the course, but they were so, so kind. And they said that because I'd helped them with organising it and bringing it to Cambridge, they were actually going to give 
gave me a free place on the course today and I couldn't be more grateful. I literally feel like that is so lovely of them because each class costs £50 each and within that you get all the materials, you get tea, coffee and cakes and croissants and things and it's really really lovely um, and then also you get to take things home with you so you can try it at home for yourself. So I feel really grateful for the fact that they let me come on the course with them today, um, especially considering I didn't really know what to expect, but I know now that this is something that I really want to pick up as a hobby and I really want to get better at it. So I'm so grateful to Imogen today who taught the class for really boosting all of our confidence and giving us some great tips so we can go home and try it all ourselves. We were presented with these little kits, so the cutest little thing, an envelope that says hello on it with white ink on it and um, also a little envelope that says nib on it which is really adorable and just keeps the little nib safe inside there and then also a little pot of ink which apparently is going to last for quite a long time especially as we're beginners we don't know the exact amount of ink that we need to be using so this size is apparently perfect for beginners for trying out every so often and it won't run out too quickly Within the bigger envelope was this workshop booklet and this is especially from Imogen's class who was the person that taught the course today. So she put this together with all the useful things that we needed inside it to make the course as easy as possible for us today. So the first thing we had to learn about was about the different sizes of the strokes that you're doing and the direction of the strokes. So this was given to us and this is an example of how things should look and how we should try and do it. So we had to repeat it over and over again to try and get it right. Unfortunately. I think that I'm personally not very good at the difference between the thickness and the thinner ones. Um, definitely think that's something that I need to try and work harder on. So this was my sample. Um, I don't think I'm very good at it. I realise that I need to try harder, but I am so enthusiastic about doing it and I definitely want to try and perfect it over the coming weeks. So this is just demonstrating the thicker ones and the thinner ones and then trying out some different shapes that are quite common when you're doing calligraphy. From then it got a little bit harder and we got given a sheet with letters on it. So this is actually a font that Imogen has put together and that she uses quite often. I don't think I'm going to get as good as that anytime soon. But the point of this was to get some tracing paper and to try and go over some of the letters there. So this was my attempt and unfortunately I smudged it which is really annoying but otherwise I think I'm pretty proud of that. But I definitely think that I'm much better at tracing it than I am at actually doing it on my own without the template underneath. Imogen said that although it's really good to stick to certain sizes of fonts and sort of the different type that you're doing, it's really good to do it like that because it keeps some consistency. You can also mix it up a little bit and she gave us this guide to help us to sort of stick generally within the line. I gave that a try and then realised that I actually needed to go back to basics and start doing the thick and thin lines again because I realised that I wasn't able to get the thickness that I was wanting and I kept on turning the quill and you're not meant to do that apparently so I went back to basics and tried to do some of the letters the basic letters and I found that I gradually was getting a little bit better so that kind of made me feel a bit better like I was quite pleased with the way that I wrote Philippa um, but I tried to do it again on another piece and unfortunately it didn't work very well. At the back of the pack we were left with some really nice paper. So um, I actually realised that I had no paper at home and thank goodness I got given this because apparently this is a lot better for absorbing the ink properly. So now that I've got nice paper, quill and my ink, I'm definitely going to have to try and do this whenever I've got a spare moment because I would love it to send out some beautiful Christmas cards that could be given to family members and just demonstrate how hard I've been trying to get this right. So I just wanted to say a really, really big thank you to Imogen, the teacher from today and the lovely ladies from Quill London for inviting me along today. I would absolutely love it if you came back to Cambridge and Imogen was talking about your intermediate class and although I don't think I'm quite there yet, maybe over the next few months when I really try my hardest to get back better at it, then I would go along to the next intermediate class when it comes back to Cambridge. So thank you so much ladies and thank you very much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much, bye!